What is going on guys, it's MKC Technology here, also known as MKC Gaming. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your computer start up faster. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel now. Like for more videos, comment down below on what you think about this video, but try not to put any bad comments. With that being said, let's get started. Now, before I get started with this video, I just got two things to say, and the first thing I gotta say is that I am building a custom computer. If you guys want me to do a video on me building that custom computer, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. And um, in this video uh, right that I'm doing now for you guys, that I'm actually screen recording for you guys, I am going to be dealing with the software side of things. If you guys want me to do a video on how to make your computer start up faster, on the hardware side of things then please leave a comment in the comment section down section down below and yeah that's basically it um with that being said let's get on the video now the first thing you want to do is go ahead and go into your settings or open up your settings from here go ahead and check if your computer software is up to date to do this go into system go into about and scroll all the way down and it said and right where it says version it says 1709 or 1709 now I know that the software version of my computer is not at the latest software update so I'm going to have to update the software so from here I'm going to go into home then I'm going to go into update and security and from here I'm going to check for updates basically I'm just gonna check for updates and I'm basically gonna skip this step due to the fact that I know that Microsoft has released a new update for Windows 10 and that update is Windows 10 Insider Preview Build 17035 now my computer is incompatible for that update and update version so I'm going to be skipping this step like I said uh, after you have updated to the latest firmware uh, or software for your computer, go ahead and go back to the main menu or main screen of your settings and go into the gaming options. From here, you want to turn off any setting that is in the gaming options. And you want to turn off everything from game bar to true play. Now, I can't touch I cannot touch game DVR, broadcasting, game mode, or true play due to the fact that my computer has insufficient hardware to for uh, my computer to control any of these settings. So please be sure to turn off any settings or all the settings within true play, game mode, broadcasting, game DVR, and game bar. After you have done that, what you want to do is go into your task manager. Now, in order to go into your task manager, there are two ways to do this. The first way is by hitting Control Alt Delete, and you'll actually be brought up with this screen. And you can choose Task Manager from here, or you can hover the mouse over the Start button like this. Right click on the Start button, and then choose Task Manager. After you've done this, go into the startup menu, which is right here, and disable any application that opens or starts up when you log into your computer. So for me, this includes Discord, Spotify, which is already disabled, Spotify Web Helper, which is already disabled, Storm, or not Storm, but Steam Client Bootstrapper, and twitch after you have disabled all the applications that start up or open when you log into your computer what you want to do is open your system configuration to do this open up your uh oh that was a voice crack i'm sorry uh, so to do this what you want to do is open up your cortana and type in msc or MS config
Oops, I spelled that wrong. C O N F I G. After you've done that, click on this little button right here. And you want to copy these settings. So once you have been uh, brought up to this little prompt, like I said, you want to copy these settings. So you want to select you want to select selective startup and make sure these two little boxes are check marked. From here, go into boot, then go into advanced options and turn on the number of cores. Well, check the box that says number of cores and select the amount of cores or the max amount of cores that you have on your processor. Most processors have a, a number of cores that go up to 16. Other processors are uh, octa cores, meaning it has eight physical cores. Some processors have six cores. If your processor has 16 cores, choose 16 cores. If your processor has 10 cores, choose 10 cores. If your processor has six cores, choose six cores. If it has four, choose four cores. My computer is a dual core processor, so I'm going to choose the number two. Then I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to click on no GUI boot. So I'm going to make sure this um, selection right here is checkmarked. And then I'm going to make sure that the timeout right here is, uh, is on the number three. From here, I'm going to click on apply, which I'm not. And it's going to come up with the same um, prompt. But after you've clicked apply, you're going to then going to click OK, and you're then going to be, you're then going to be brought up with this prompt. From here, you're going to click on restart. But I'm not going to click on restart due to the fact that I'm recording this video. So from here, I'm going to now click on exit without uh, restart, so that way I can continue this video. And yeah that's actually it for the video today guys um like i said earlier on in the video if you guys want me to do a video on me building the custom computer please be sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below and yeah um with that being said all the links to my social media is in the com is in the comment section down below well not the comment section down below but in the description box down below my name is mkc technology i'm out peace Let's call it in the crossfire. Let's call it in the crossfire.